So right. what is it that you can do that really connects you to people and builds that relationship? And it seems like you're part If you need help, just reach out. I'm here for you. So another note about your intuition, how do you listen to it? How do you find it? How do you listen to your soul? Like if you're going through life, so the key is slowing down and it's hard to do because we have smartphones, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, we have all these things vying for our attention and they are useful but you are in charge of them. They are not in charge of you. So today I urge you to spend one minute with yourself. If you're having a hard time, one minute with yourself to just breathe, to just sit in your room, outside, wherever you want, into your nose and out through your nose. And instantly you will start to feel different and then do that for a minute. So there's a lot of new science around this, which is fantastic. Five breaths, which equates to about five and a half breaths per minute. So one minute of breathing, five cycles of in and out breaths. That actually slows down your body in such a way where you are completely in balance. The mind, the gut, the nervous system is all operating at its max efficiency. This is what our body wants. It wants to be at that efficient state, at homeostasis, um, not struggling, not stressed out, not digesting, you know, incessantly. It wants us to be at a calm state. So your breath helps you achieve that state. And then what that does for the mind is it allows the mind to be quiet. So often we think, oh, I, I have a, my mind is spinning, spinning, spinning. So that means I have to spin, 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 spin. No. It's the opposite. Use your breath to calm down your mind. And then things slow down. Slow down in such a way that you can listen at a different frequency. Listen with your heart instead of just your mind. Your heart is so wise, so powerful. Shamans are, are considered those that can listen with their heart. So what is, what is that person across from you saying with their heart? Not their words only or with their mind, but with their heart. Um, through that, you can actually receive a lot of messages. You can see through all of the BS of a lot of things. And it starts with you slowing down and once you get to the point where that's more and more comfortable you do it for longer you begin to live in this way and your soul will communicate you know it's waiting for you it's waiting for you to slow down then you can communicate with the trees you can slow down to their frequency um, there's endless possibility but you have to be in control again you have the power to heal yourself. You have the power to use your breath in this way. You have the power to slow yourself down. And that in itself is a healing act. So I hope you use that power.